remember we uh, we did the um, when we looked at the skeleton and we read about the, the information of the skeleton. I remember him saying that they were blind. So I was kind of hoping that we could just basically do what we just did. Just kind of float past them. Because I'm not actually, like, moving the ship. I'm just using the momentum from when we, we came in here. But I don't think that momentum is going to be enough. So... Oh god! Oh god! <laughs> oh man! <laughs> so if you move your ship, <laughs> they will get you. <laughs> so I I either need to go in there faster and carry more momentum, or like not go after near that one maybe the red one maybe we need to go to the red one <laughs> don't go there ever i mean we have to we have to it's part of the game now you know why why i didn't want to go there I had a feeling, based on this, the, the daggum skeleton, that those things were gonna be nasty. Uh, hey. Where are you now, Dark Bramble? Okay, so I think we're gonna just kind of cruise in there at full speed and see how far that takes us. Oh, or <laughs> hear me out now. <laughs> I missed that part. That's funny. Um, and I, see, we have to we have to do for science. We're gonna we're gonna just go barely into it. And, uh, maybe go for the red one. this red one is okay that's the one that well I, I can't say that that's the one that caused us a problem but that is one I don't feel like we're going any faster than we were before. Uh, what if we... Don't do that! <laughs> don't do that at all. That's, that's not what you do. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay. <laughs> How about no? <laughs>
<laughs> I was kind of hoping that he would chase the, the the scout. That was that was my plan there. Is he would chase the scout. He did not, in fact, chase the scout. He chased us. And by chased, I mean he bit us and swallowed us whole. Uh, where is Dark Bramble usually going to be? Because I have a feeling we might have to do this a couple of times. There it is over there. Are you going to fly us into the sun? Please don't fly us into the sun. We're going to skim the surface of the sun. if we go at 500 meters per second. Whew. Okay, there's a thing. There's a thing there. All right, rotating does not anger the guy. I mean, how many of these are we going to have to go through? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Do not like.
Do not like at all. Okay, so we know what the red bits are. So where do we go from here? So I can't tell if I'm rotating or if these things are moving. this over here gotta go see you Oh no, ship, come back. Is that it? Was it just a thruster? I feel like I hear something else sizzling. Oh, yep, there it was. Whoop. Is it on top, maybe? Just get back in and see what it says. What else? Aft hull. Aft is the back, right? I saw it. There it is. Hey, hey, stop. There we go. Okay. Everything's fine. Just a little mid flight repair job. Uh huh. Oh shit! <laughs> it's the vessel! Holy fuck! It's the Know My Vessel. Oh! Sorry! Uh, 
rotate. to parse that later I guess I don't have a damn clue oh what is this yeah but what are you oh you're a warp core you're a broken warp core okay uh can I can I put this down please I don't I don't want to carry this anymore <laughs> uh Oh, no, my writing. Okay. This is Eskal's vessel. Something went badly wrong during our warp and our vessel is mortally wounded. We need help as quickly as possible. Our vessel appears to have... Has it fused with... Wait, our, appears to, uh, our vessel appears to have... Has it fused with the local environment somehow? There are vines that are now part of the vessel. It's been torn apart from the inside itself. We we are abandoning the vessel. Any no my clans of space flight capable species or space flight capable of receiving this message, I implore you, we need your help. Uh, hello? Uh, hello? Please? Please? Please stop. There we go. Uh, is this broken? Can anyone hear me? Our vessel is dying. We need immediate assistance. Okay. Uh, do a little rotate job here. And stop. Equip. Read. Do any know my clans whose vessel can hear this message? It's clear the universe is dying. There are fewer and fewer resources and safe places within space now. So my clan and I believe the best option is for our clans to stay together. Okay. If you can reach the gloaming galaxy, we found that Black Rock's suns are fairly stable and life in this star system is comparatively thriving. We live in relative safety. So is this the gloaming galaxy we're in? <laughs> what does the after hole ever done for us? I know, right? Uh, if you prefer to continue exploring alone, you know you will be on your own. My slamming doors in my apartment complex, shaking my whole damn room. Also, I just got welcome to my own chat room. Hello, are we are we still alive? Did we have a do we have a frame drop or anything? People people still still here? Okay, we're alive. Okay weird I, I like i said i literally just got welcome to my own chat room you got that too okay twitch just being twitchy i guess hot and spicy productions hello everybody get your cone dodger appropriate emotes ready by the way i just joined ah i see Okay, uh, Kenna, we're making our way to you. It's good to hear from you, Bromie. We'll watch for your vessel. Please stop. Has anyone heard from Neem? His clan was on the way to our vessel, but they never arrived, and he hasn't sent any messages. I'm beginning to worry. That is unsettling. It reminds me of the old myth my grandfather used to tell, the disappearance of Eskal. Thought we were Eskal. I remember hearing that story as a child. One day, Eskal's vessel simply stopped responding. The other clan searched and searched, but found no trace. 
It was as if their missing friends had warped out of existence. That's no myth, friends. Eskal's clan existed, and their story was real. What a curious event to have passed into myth. Our ancestors' ancestors were told that story when they were young. Are you sure it's true, Hassop? Yeah, Hassop. Are you sure? It was a very long time ago, but yes, my clan's ancestors searched for Eskal's clan for a long time. But in the end, none of them were ever seen again. It's, uh, it's the only time in our history a vessel has ever disappeared this way. Okay. I hope you aren't comparing Eskal's story to my clan's vessel, says Neem. Neem, my friend, we feared you were gone. Not yet we aren't, but nearly. We found trouble during our warp. The triple sun to the bright spark star system exploded, and it was only a lucky coincidence that we weren't caught in the blast. We'll meet you soon, Kana. I'm relieved your clan is safe, Neem. It's good to hear your words. Any vessel nearby, remember to be extremely cautious of potential unstable stars, which most of the which is most of them now. Okay. Okay. So this is Eskal's star. Uh, can I put this in here and just get it out of my out of my hand, please? I know it's broken, but oh, it's the wrong way. Uh, insert. Oh, oh, oh. Get, get back. Oh, there we go. Chip log updated. Probably, hey, that one's broke. It don't work. Okay, let's see if there's anything else around here. Uh, we're fine. Anything else of value in the vessel? No. Okay. So. If we were able to, uh, let's get some fuel while we're here. Whoop. Refuel the jetpack. Back out here. Oh god, I thought that was one of those things. So if we were able to get a warp core, a working warp warp core, we have the coordinates to the eye of the universe. So all we would need to do is get an intact warp core, make it back here, initiate warp somehow, and then we could take the this here vessel to the eye of the universe. Sounds feasible, right? Also, I guess that's the only way into the vessel. Yep, looks like it. Sounds like a pretty pog plan. Very good. Okay. We just need to figure out A, how to get out of here, and two, how to get a warp core. Uh, the warp cores are at the twin station, the, the Ember Twin place. That's where they took all the warp cores to power the um, the Ash Twin project to power the gravity cannon not the gravity cannon the uh, the probe cannon so if we could make it into the into the Ash Twin project we could get a warp core 
That I don't know. Oh. And we're we're just out. We're we're just out. Okay, but what we do need to do is find Felspar. <laughs> Alright, there's a dude. Hey, dude. Don't mind uh, my scout. You know. Felchbar is in here somewhere. Okay. Uh, we are assuming that he is alive. Now put that away. So, oh yeah, that's true. It's true. Uh, signal scope. Good call. Thank you for that. Charge! Charge, I said! Slow down. Okay, right, so eight hundred meters in that direction. I was safe from the fish heads. Well, if we're not actually using our thrusters, we would be safe from the fish, fish people. Yeah, portal time indeed. No! <laughs> Son of a bitch! Felchbar, I'm coming! Hey, buddy! Hi! You know what? <laughs> I know, right? Right on cue. Ah. Hi. Wonderful things are about to happen, Felchbar. Bar. 
what wonderful things are, are are about to happen. I'm not even going to talk to him. I'm just going to stand here and look at him. He is alive. That's true. We can, we can, in fact, make it back. We know how to, we know how to get here. Oh, apparently over there is where, uh, where things are happening. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, real easy. There's my duplicate scout. Okay. Once more into the bramble. Maybe he will have some information for us as to how to get to the goddamn Ash Twin Project. I still don't know how to get to the Ash Twin Project. Don't know what's up with the with the uh, with the eggs either. How do you think he uses that helmet with the helmet on? That is also a good question. There's oxygen there, so maybe maybe he's just got an opening in his uh, in his little mask. Uh, right. Okay. The vessel. We have found the vessel. I found a derelict no mine vessel deep within Dark Bramble. Warp core is long dead. Activated three-sided pillar on the vessel's bridge. It appears to be some sort of input device. No mind tried to call for help, but the vessel's outgoing message system broke during the crash. The vessel can steer he still hear incoming messages from other no mind vessels. The remaining no mind clans are regrouping in response to the impending death of the universe. All right. Uh, escape pod three. We still haven't found escape pod three either. Is in Dark Bramble somewhere. The Ash Twin Project. We need to get there. But I guess we'll go back to talk to Feldspar. Buckle up. Yep, that's that's uh, kind of what I was thinking. Thank you for mentioning that about the uh, the signal, by the way. Quantum channel? Okay. We're going to go find Felspar first, again. Yeah, the quantum moon is here, by the way. Slowly, slowly make our way in there. So we're just inside, safe in our little cave. Uh, signal scope. Ah, he's up there now. Okay. Charge!
very worried about angering other angler fish. Okay, we're fine. Charge! fine. I missed. Missed again. There we go. Before you charge? Okay. Oh no, up, 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 up. And down. Ouch. Everything's fine. We're all fine here. Okay, so there's only the one light here, so I'm pretty sure we're safe. Safe. <laughs> Retrieve this, put that away. Find a safe place to land. That is not, this is, this is not safe. This is not safe, self. Just, listen, just, just stop. Technically, I didn't. <laughs> Technically, I don't think that I did. It's it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, he's got a he's got a thing here that is doing some doing some uh, gravity. Feldspar, hello. Where'd you come from? No one's been come here in well ever actually. That makes you the second. Harthian to ever reach Dark Bramble. After me, of course. Well done. So, it's you. Or say, it's you. They made you an astronaut, and you haven't blown yourself up yet? Good for you. Uh, you're... Uh, we thought you were dead for sure. What? Me? You killed off by thorny extra-dimensional plants that entirely violate the laws of space and time and a couple of giant predatory fish with great gaping balls and enormous sharp fangs? Not in this lifetime, little buddy. I set up camp here when my ship got stuck here in Dark Bramble. Been living off the land ever since. Uh, so what happened to your ship? Oh, this is a good story. I just finished exploring the core of uh, Giant's Deep and needed a new challenge. And none of us had ever been inside of Dark Bramble. So I think, hey, let's give it a try. I've been cruising around for a while, dodging an odd, massive, interdimensional vine bristling with thorn when I run into this huge anglerfish, the biggest I've ever seen. I pull off a few st stunts, trying to shake the thing off. Nothing too fancy. I'm going full speed when the fish clips me, knocks me into a vine, and, well, 
like I said, I, I crash. Blammo! On impact, the ship starts making noises like it's coming apart from the inside. And I think, well, that ain't great. <laughs> well, that ain't great. Sure enough, I barely get out before the electrical system starts sparking like crazy. It's either move fast or die unpleasantly, so I had to put a little distance between me and my poor fried ship. I camped out near where I crashed at first. I found this skeleton later. Great find. It would have been stupid not to use it. So I, I moved my setup over here and planted my emergency tree seeds. Been here ever since. Wow. Yeah, pretty much. Much better pilot than me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, that's how it went down, Hatchling. Story's over, but feel free to stay and enjoy the fire a while. Or don't. Fire's not going anywhere. Uh, I found something. I went to the Gore Giant's Deep. So you figured out the old tornado trick, did you? Good work. I found that vent out by accident, but let's keep that between you and me, eh? Hornfelds would have my very handsome head if they knew I'd been riding the cyclones again. The ship is fragile. It can break. You can't subject it to extreme conditions. Not like I was flying the thing into the sun now, was I? And the jellyfish. You figured out those two? Hatchling, I'll tell you what. You've done real well for yourself. You're a fine astronaut, sure. But you might just become a pilot yet. Uh, I found something. I found a dark bramble seed on Temple Hearth. That's bad business, Hasling. I sure it would tell you if you so much. I'm spicy production. Thank you for the follow. Uh, so much as grant, glance in dark bramble's direction. There used to be a fifth planet where a dark bramble is now. This infernal plant appeared at the center and kept growing and growing and growing until it shattered the planet and scattered its pieces across space. If we don't get that seed you found sorted out real quick, like I suspect Timber Hearth will be heading toward the same fate. And I tell you what, we Hearthians have overcome far too much to be done in by some worthless seed. I found something. I found no my writing saying anglerfish are blind aha uh -huh. so the blast of things do have a weakness meaning my fly as fast as i can approach to dealing with them could have used a bit more thought behind it ah well at least they didn't eat me all's well that ends well eh hatchling okay where should i explore that's the spirit anywhere is good but you should know that space is weird here intensely ever tried throwing your probe into one of those weird seeds See there with the, the little opening? It's just big enough to launch one through. Your probe tracker will tell you will tell you the probe is in two places at once, but I don't think that's wrong exactly because space doesn't work right here. That seed looks small, see, but inside it's bigger, much bigger. I've had a lot of time to think about this and my theory is space and dark bramble kind of expands as you go through each spear that's why it's bigger inside those seeds well that's my theory keep that in mind while you're exploring dark bramble and maybe you won't get lost inside forever good luck okay no we know how he did it where's your ship not far from here as a matter of fact if you go straight past the tail of the angerfish skeleton here you'll see a flickering light in the fog follow that and you'll find my old ship What's left of it, anyway? Okay. What happened to this anglerfish? Oh, the skeleton? It's like this when I got here. As near as, I, near as I can tell, the anglerfish must have been chewing on the vine and eaten a seed. And then the seed grew and grew in the poor fish's stomach until this happened. Gross, huh? Yep. The skeleton was a good friend. The, uh, the light keeps the fish away, you know. See, they're territorial. So they most likely avoid each other. That's why I set up camp here. Fair enough. Fair enough. Shouldn't I tell ground control to come get you? Well, sure. Yeah. Whenever you have the time. Frankly, I kind of like it out here. Quite peaceful-ish. You're a little young to understand, but it's a lot of pressure. Being the best that ever was. Been nice to have a break. Okay. Longer than 22 minutes, I know, right? <laughs> uh, okay, so I guess that's it. I guess that's it. Uh, we can, you know, we'll, we'll just we'll just roast a marshmallow while we're here. May as well, right? 
Don't light it on fire. Get that nice, trying to get that nice golden brown color. I said don't light it on fire. Oh, yeah, yeah that's fine. Replace. All right. Uh, whoop. Now, should we take the ship to the flickering? Eh, we'll just, we'll just head out here like this. Well, what could possibly go wrong? Ah, it's not as fun as is actually doing it yourself, though. All right, so here's his ship. No way to actually get in his ship. There's also a vine here. So we can go in. Again, what could what could possibly go wrong with traveling? down a, a vine shaft out my head maybe we should maybe we should slow down a little bit <laughs> slow down um i'm sorry what Hello? So confused it made me sneeze. Trip four? Question mark? Uh, I'm not going to say one. Crashes three. Boring crashes zero. A personal best. Whoa, I've never seen one of these beasties inside of Giant's Deep. I've seen, I have seen, I, uh, inside of Giant's Deep. They were awfully useful back there. Maybe jellyfish could be useful here too. Blarg, this taste is terrible. The outside is rubbery and tough. Maybe that's because it insulates the jellyfish's inside from being zapped by electricity. Right, I'm going inside the jellyfish's interior cavity to see what... It's in there. Taste any better? Okay. Where the fuck are we? <laughs> By the way, where are we? Note to Felspar: Do not eat this, even if you are dying. It would be. Uh, just obviously still a dark ramble, yeah. Um, it would be too sad if this was the last thing you ever ate in this life. I guess these jellyfish are only useful for insulating from electricity. Again, do not eat. Love, Feldspar. I mean, yeah, we knew that already. Oh shit. Shit, 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 shit. We're fine, everything's fine. Is 
This is the area that teaches you about the jellyfish? Oh, I see. I just kind of figured that out on my own. <laughs> just kind of through ex some uh, experimentation. So can we get back into Dark Bramble this way? Never left Dark Bramble Iron, fair enough. Cool. Alright, so let's head back to Feldspar. And the ship. Who am I? Oh, double dog. Hello. I made it back. Uh, right. Was there anything else around here? Okay. So. Uh, it was the distress beacons is where the, uh, um, Uh, the, uh, excuse me, pardon me, excuse me, I said, Ooh. yes, yes, I did, we did make it on our own, all right, so that's the ship. Get out of here. I mean, that's his ship. Okay, yeah, that's that's an annoying sound. Hello, fishy friend. Play Outer Wilds, it is a great game. Thank you very much for the follow. I do appreciate it. Here's, uh, here's what the, the bottom side of the fishies look like, by the way, everybody. I hate them so much. <laughs> I hate them so much. Scary. They look scary. Exactly. <laughs> Stop looking at the fish butt. Sorry. Sorry. I'm afraid to try to boost to go faster. Because I could still hear it breathing.
do not like do not like all right time to go oh up 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 okay we're fine we're fine everything's fine we're good we're good okay let's get just barely in What'd you reckon that was? <laughs> what, uh, what you reckon that was? That was, that was a nope. That was a big old nope is what that was. Oh, it's just a, okay. It's just, it's just a piece of something floating around in there. All right, all right, fair enough. Uh, so the signal scope. Over there. No, the dot wasn't moving. That piece of, of ground is moving. Slowly rotating, it looks like. So we need to go... Did I lose it? There it is. All right, let's put you away, scout launcher. Get launched. up a little bit up a little bit more <laughs> up just a tiny bit more somewhere hmm. okay you away uh, signal scope again and uh, just uh, charge I know this sound is probably very loud for you guys. I'm sorry. Good, put that away. We're close. Fails, follow the lights. Okay, refuel that on out. That wasn't scary at all, I promise. No! Damn it! Son of a bitch! <laughs> Every time! 
every time. Well, there's nothing for it. It's like we're on a timer or something. I know, right? Fellas? Oh, I wonder what happens if we bump into that. Hopefully we won't. Front flip for style. try to hit one of them with it. I know we're about to die, but... Oh, we made it to the eggs. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> great view to see those damn things fry. I know, right? Okay. Son of a bitch, one more time. <laughs> one more time into Dark Bramble. One more time. I feel like we got a lot accomplished that time. I feel like we got a lot accomplished that time.